This is the second in a series of three modules focused on school-ready libraries. These modules have been developed as a way for children's librarians to take a closer look at the important role they can play as a community partner to support school readiness. These modules will give you an introduction to child development and ask you to consider how you can incorporate this information into your work with young children and their families. As you go through Module 2, please take time to reflect on the content and respond to prompted questions. If you already have a background in child development, I hope that this information will provide some new resources. And if most of this is totally new to you, then the information and resources shared can help lay the foundation for further exploration and growth in your knowledge. School Ready Libraries closely aligns with two of IMLS's current strategic goals, to place the learner at the center and support engaging experiences in libraries that prepare people to be full participants in their local communities and our global society, and to promote libraries as strong community anchors that enhance civic engagement, cultural opportunities, and economic vitality. This series of modules is designed as one part of the effort to help improve the school readiness, knowledge, and skills of public library staff. Information in these modules is focused on early childhood development and designed to enhance the abilities of library staff to be successful community partners in promoting school readiness. This project is aligned with larger statewide educational goals to increase school readiness and support optimal development of all young children in Kentucky. The Association for Library Service to Children, a division of the American Library Association, recommends core competencies for all children's librarians and other library staff whose primary duties include delivering library service to children ages birth through 14. A link to these competencies is included in your handout in case you are not familiar or want to refresh your memory. While all of these competencies are important, when reviewing these, please pay particular attention to the ones in knowledge of client group and programming skills. These really emphasize the important role that you play in promoting child development and promoting school readiness. As children's librarians, there are several core competencies addressing knowledge and skills related to early childhood development. Please take a look at some of these that we will address throughout this course of trainings. These competencies confirm your commitment to children and their caregivers and the role that you play in school readiness. To understand how much your role parallels and supports optimal child development, let's take a look at some of the similarities between the competencies for librarians working with children and the competencies established for early childhood providers in licensed and certified child care centers and homes, as well as those in the public preschool programs. Kentucky has adopted a set of specific competencies needed for all professionals that work with young children and their families. These are referred to as core content. In addition to these, there are also standards established by Kentucky Department of Education that meet certification requirements for working in birth through primary programs. The link to access these are included for you to explore further. As you look through these, I think that you will see some similarities to your own professional competencies. They all include a focus on knowing child development and a focus on family and community partnerships and engagement. Let's take some time to look at just a few of these that are particularly relevant to the work that you do with young children and really emphasize how valuable your role can be in supporting development of young children, supporting their families, and being a partner in school readiness. The next few slides show the links between some of the ALSC competencies and the competencies and skills expected for professionals who work in early care and education programs. This first one shows a focus on understanding child growth and development. These all focus on planning instruction for children based on developmental needs and consideration of individual needs and cultural values. These competencies also respect and include children of all abilities. These next competencies emphasize the importance of working with the family and forming community partnerships. These are standards that apply to all who work with young children and their families. It is important to focus on the needs of the family and the community and respect the important role that these play in helping a child reach their full potential. Collaboration across all the partners that work with young children is important to support their needs. These competencies look at the importance of designing programs that are appropriate for the client served. Instruction has to meet the needs of the children and it is important for all the adults that are designing instruction to make sure that they have knowledge and can use appropriate resources to ensure that children are in rich learning environments. As you go through this module, 
think back on these competencies and consider the connection across all the environments that impact young children's development. In this module, we will be focusing on promoting healthy physical well-being and social emotional development. This includes looking at motor development, promotion of healthy living, and social emotional development. There will also be several concepts that were discussed in module one that will be pertinent to all the modules. We will begin with some of those after you complete a quick pretest. Before we get started, please take a few minutes to complete this brief pretest. Please answer using your current knowledge and do not worry about researching the correct response. This is strictly to figure out where you are in your knowledge as you begin this module. 